employee officially landed in Louisiana to help with Hurricane Laura efforts. She says you never know when something like this could happen to you. Local 44's Courtney Adelman joins us live right now with that story. Good morning, Courtney. Well, good morning, Abby. Yes, right now I'm standing inside the Burlington International Airport where I met up with Erica Fuller yesterday from the Red Cross on her way to Louisiana. Now, as many of you know, the Red Cross helps people during emergencies through volunteers and donors. Now, some of you have heard about Hurricane Laura. It was a Category 4 storm and it was deadly. Being able to help people and support them when they are in very vulnerable situations is something that uh, really speaks to me and I'm excited to be able to help. Hurricane Laura recently wrecked havoc across the coastline of Louisiana, leaving at least 14 people dead. The storm caused tens of thousands of people to evacuate and nearly 300,000 people are still without power. It could be months before electricity is restored. Erica Fuller of Waterbury, Vermont, knew she wanted to help. Right now, we're not in a situation where we need the support, but down the road, there could be a large storm that hits the East Coast. So I'm really grateful to be able to help now and understand that in the future, I might be the one needing that support. Fuller is a senior volunteer recruitment specialist for the Red Cross. In 2017, she responded to Hurricane Harvey, where she helped families muck and gut their homes, getting them ready to rebuild. She says since then, she has been interested in giving back and sees the importance of it. There's um, so many people who have had their lives just turned upside down by the hurricanes and the wildfires that are happening in the world. And um, it means a lot to be able to go out and support them and show them compassion during this time. Fuller will be joining an operation in Baton Rouge that already involves nearly 1,000 trained Red Cross disaster workers. She will be supporting people who have been displaced and are currently in shelters. And the Red Cross has a bunch of teams out there volunteering, doing things like assessing damage, handing out food, water, and ready-to-go meals. But for now, live in Burlington, Courtney Adelman, Local 44 News. Back to you, Abby.